Hey guys, welcome to Jaywalk Journalism. This is Matt Miller, and watch this absolute CNN meltdown when Chair Michael Singleton, who's the only Republican on this panel, accidentally uses the phrase boys playing girls sports to refer to transgender biological male athletes playing against women in women's sports. Totally unfair, right? And this whole panel of woke media elitists shame him and attack him for using this term. One guy in particular seems like he's about to cry. It's an absolute circus. I don't know why anybody watches CNN anymore. Check this out right here. This is a total train wreck of a live TV segment, if I've ever seen one. There are a lot of families out there who don't believe boys should play girls' sports. They're not boys. Uh, no, no, I'm no, not no, going to no, listen no, to transphobia no, at this table. That's, that's I am not, not going to listen to you call a trans girl a boy. Are you going to allow me to not finish not my explanation? You when you use a word that's a slur, I'm going to interrupt. That's not how it is. They're not boys. They're not boys. They're not playing girls' softball. I'm not going to sit there and listen to that. for a second because, look, this is a really heated issue, right? And, Chair Michael, I know you. I know that you understand that people have different views on this. I think out of respect for Jay, like let's try to talk about this in a way that is respectful. Okay, so let, let me rephrase this since I'm being targeted here. I, I don't think no, 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 it's to be okay. clear, you are it's, not being but targeted. But I am, but it's okay. I, I'm specifically okay. saying that I know that you are not intending to be transphobic. He should know that but, I'm not. But, but, he wants but to I want to call you transphobic. I'm saying you're using a phrase that you know. So the way you know, regular people interpret it, That's not regular people. That's not regular people. There's no consensus that these are actually boys. This whole thing about trans girls is a Nard. It's, we're talking about a tiny, tiny sliver of the population, that may be the and case, we're using but, but, that. But my point in terms of its effectiveness. From just get to, hold on, just get to your point. My point in terms of its effectiveness. Regular people with children look at these things and they say, you know what? This is a bit too far. I do not agree with this. I don't like this. I think Democrats are going way too much to the left on social issues. They're uncomfortable with it. A lot of people believe that. A lot of families believe that. You may disagree with that reality, but that's why Republicans kept running those ads over and over and over again. Because they saw the metrics suggested and that they were working. in those ads over and over again and using rhetoric like you just used, saying this is boys playing girls sports. Well, what, which, first okay, of all, we're talking the, about five people in the what's entire the language country. language you would prefer? We're talking about trans girls playing, playing, being allowed to play with the people who are in their gender. And if you don't believe, you don't have to listen to me, listen okay. to the American Medical Association, the American Psychological oh, Association. This is, the American Medical Association. This is not, this is not a so Cher Michael was trying to explain to these Democrats exactly why they lost the election. He was trying to do him a favor and tell him, hey, look, you guys are so radical, especially on this gender stuff, which doesn't resonate with Americans, uh, you know, broadly speaking, it doesn't resonate with average Americans. They think it goes too far. They don't understand it. And actually, you know what? I think a lot of people actually do understand it and they know that it's wrong. They know that it's an extremist worldview and they don't want their kids swept up in biological uh, reassignment, basically gender reassignment surgeries gender affirming care, having the state and the public schools having control of their kids and the, and the parents not having any, uh, have any say in the gender reassignment of their kid. And all of these things, and even, even just the, uh, the other matter of women's sports, girls' sports in schools, uh, and biological men, people who were born male, competing in swimming, in boxing, God forbid, in all kinds of other sports with biological females. It's not fair. Men are different. They're stronger. They're more explosive. They're more athletic. They have testosterone. Bone density is stronger. All of these things are true, scientifically proven. And these CNN clowns, I don't know what other word to call them, these CNN hacks are denying reality again and again and again. And this is exactly why they lost the election. Their side lost the election because they're off in, in la-la land right now. They don't resonate. Their messages, their worldview does not resonate with the majority of Americans that are worried about, you know, <laughs> not getting infringed upon by the government, by the woke left's ideology. They're worried about paying their groceries they're worried about paying their bills and uh, and trying to cling on to the value of the dollar, of their hard-earned, hard-saved dollars. And they really don't care about gender pronouns and all of and, and you know, gender reassignment surgeries for illegal immigrants like Kamala Harris supported. So 
I mean, it's just when a conservative like Sher Michael is trying to explain to him, look, this is why you guys lost. They don't even want to hear it. And they shoot him down and they attack him. And it's, you know what? They deserve to lose again. They deserve to lose this time. That is for sure. They deserve to lose again. Um, they are so ignorant and they need to get reconnected with the struggles of average Americans if they're hoping to win a popular election. And this is what we always see the left resort to, right? Shouting, screaming, interrupting, acting very immature. He couldn't even let Cher Michael finish his point, finish what he was saying before he had to interrupt and say, I'm not going to listen to transphobia on this at this table. Uh, you know, I'm not going to listen to it. I'm not going to listen to it. Dude, sit down and stop acting like a toddler. You are wrong. You are crazy. You need to sit down, be quiet, and listen if you want any hope of winning of your side to be able to win the next election. You can't just shut out and demonize 90% of Americans or, I mean, yeah, really 90% of Americans don't feel the way he does about this radical gender ideology. And, uh, and I guess he just, he just doesn't want to see that. He wants to be blissfully ignorant of this and go and attack people. He wants to use it as a high horse to attack people who disagree with him. I mean, honestly, I would, even, I would say it's like a horseshoe effect. CNN was unwatchable for so many years, and you just knew you were getting lies, lies, lies. But now they actually have a couple good Republicans on there that I really love watching take on the rest of the table. And these guys do a great job in a room full of people that disagree with them. They're totally outnumbered. And they are clearly, for anybody to see, the smartest guys in the room. And uh, you just you see these meltdowns again and again and again. It's, I think it's very entertaining. It's actually good television now. Maybe somebody at the CNN network uh, figured out how to get ratings, how to get people to watch. Hey, let's throw one smart person in the room and see, see what happens. Maybe we'll get some good exchanges and maybe we'll win back some of the audience that fled over to Fox News. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this clip in the comments. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And ring the notification bell so you guys get notified when we post brand new videos to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next video.